Thanksgiving week. Uh, just a couple of quick reminders with Thanksgiving approaching in just a few days. Uh, here's an easy one to remember. I made an acronym for you called PEARL. Of course, for Pacific PEARL. Uh, the P in PEARL is remember to practice gratefulness and gratitude. And please take this time of year to uh, give a thank you, even a quick note, uh, a quick phone call to someone who has made a difference in your life. Uh, so your P is to practice gratefulness. Your E is to remember to get outside and exercise. If you're going to be eating extra food for Thanksgiving, we want you to be moving. Exercise is good for your brain and it's good for your heart. So let's get out in nature and breathe that fresh, beautiful air. The A, of course, in Pearl is for appreciation. And I hope you take a few minutes to appreciate all the blessings that you have and to use those blessings to serve others, whether it's giving to your local food bank, feeding America San Diego, Jewish Community Center, or some other uh, charity uh, that really can use your support right now. The R in Pearl is for release. What would we like you to release? And we would really like you to release old grudges. We want you to let go of things that no longer serve you. As a matter of fact, you can write them down and burn them in a fire if you have a nice fireplace going over this Thanksgiving weekend. And the L in Pearl is to listen. I'd love for you to listen to some wonderful music, listen to those around you, listen to the sounds of nature, and most importantly right now, listen to what your doctor is going to say. We really need this Thanksgiving to pay attention to our health. We need to be in very small groups. How do I know what's a good group to be around? Someone who I know, someone who I know practices social distancing, someone who I know wears a face mask, and we need to host our events outside in very teeny tiny numbers. We will have many, many more Thanksgivings, but this year we really need you to focus on not only keeping yourself safe, but those around you safe. And quite frankly, the healthcare system cannot handle hundreds and hundreds of people showing up with COVID-19. We just can't do that anymore. So we need you to remain uh, as much as possible vigilant. So I know you can do this. So a couple of quick uh, messages. The first is on herd immunity. I know you hear a lot about this. We get what the media says. Herd immunity is not the answer uh, to our situation right now. We have 330 million people in the US. Herd immunity requires that we have 60 to 65% of us immune to coronavirus. That means 200 million people. Uh, we only have about 8% of us immune to coronavirus, and we have no idea of how long these antibodies are good for. So herd immunity, not the solution. We are not going there. On the other hand, vaccines. Vaccines are looking good. And for those of you who like to check out what's happening online, Go to the McGill University website called COVID-19 Vaccine Tracker, and you will find that we have many, many vaccines right now in phase three trials. What that means is the next step is emergency use authorization. You've heard a lot about Johnson & Johnson. You've heard a lot about Moderna, uh, but we have other vaccines that are in the pipeline. And the questions we're getting here right now almost every day is who is going to get this vaccine? You can go to another great website. It's called the CDC Playbook COVID-19 Vaccine Playbook. So you can go on that site and you're going to quickly see phase one, which is going to be essential workers. We need to vaccinate our doctors, our nurses, our respiratory therapists, all the people working in hospitals, people who are exposed to potentially infectious people. 
we need to vaccinate all of our essential service workers, and we are also going to be vaccinating most likely people over the age of 65. So more on that, depending on the number of vaccines that get produced, but that's phase one, and I believe by phase two, there will be enough vaccine for everyone. So that's where we're at with our vaccines right now, and it's really, really good news. So remember those two websites. And remember this, I need you this weekend to eat lots of fruits and vegetables, lots of green leafy veggies, uh, and stay away from the extra sugar and alcohol. You know, Dr. K back and I uh, know this weekend means one thing for us. It means something called holiday heart. And holiday heart is described in the cardiology literature around holidays like Thanksgiving. The number of people with arrhythmias goes way up. So help us out, stay hydrated, lay off the sugar and lay off the excess alcohol. Uh, get out and walk and eat your green leafy vegetables. Uh, and finally, of course, I want you all to uh, remember what's good for your immune system. Sleeping, get a good night's sleep, exercising in nature, meditation, do something that helps to calm the central nervous system, whether it's yoga, meditation, or Tai Chi. And of course, we want you to take your supplements. Many of you know your prescribed supplements to prevent uh, and boost to prevent disease and boost your immune system so if you don't know what you should be taking please call over at the office prior to this Thursday uh, we'll be happy to get you sorted out so remember at the end of the day uh, all of us at Pacific Pearl uh, want to wish you a happy happy and healthy Thanksgiving and if you need us, all of our members, please pull out your phone number list. You know how to find us. And I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful Thanksgiving weekend.